morning, everybody. I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delicio. And I'm Roy Candy. Welcome to a live playthrough. Today we are playing through Champions Rise. Champions, Champions Rise. Theme song from Mike Delicio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling pretty good. You've been working on that. You got the first three notes. I got the I got the chorus ish. You just do that over and over again. Champions rise, 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 rise. It's, it's got a every, little... Every time you deal damage now, you just kind of be like, Champions it's rise! It's supposed to be a three-part harmony, but I only have one one aspect of it. <laughs> this is our first time playing through the game. I've talked to the designers and a little bit, so hopefully we get it right. It is me and Mike are feeling confident about Roy <laughs> about winning. Roy, we're going to lean on Roy. Because it's a cooperative game! Well, I'm just trying to shift blame when we get destroyed. It's I also it a is. cooperative card-based game. That's Roy's jam. In this that game, is normally my jam. In this game, you're fighting a, a bad guy, and you have a hero that you're going to mix with a style of, uh, well, with a style. So Mike's going to show you some of the heroes we're not using. Oh, yeah, let's do that. So there's six different heroes in this game. So there's Ufwe, the Beastmaster. Mm -hmm. He's got a signature side action there, which we'll talk more about later, I guess. Strength and numbers, All right? Then we uh -huh. have, that is... Our semi-transparent Calder there. Well, that's actually <laughs> Well, actually, two actually this forms. is two forms, yeah. So you've got Calder here in their human form. And it's the color that's giving us a little bit of a transparency. And then you've got Kelpie. All right, so that, apparently that character can switch back and forth between forms. Yes. All right. So then we have one more character. That's not the character. That's no. the style. What These are all got? styles. No, there's, another there's another character here. The Hedge Witch. Yes, Amaryllis, the Hedge Witch. We thought Mike would pick this character because it has <laughs> no. a cat. Yeah, oh, not because it's, not because it's an old character. No, the mm. cat. I all didn't right. even think the old thing. But Although I do like that, that cat. That, it, that cat looks a little bit annoyed at the uh, at the bird. I think that there's an un maybe just an uneasy. Yeah, there's an uneasy truce between those two. And then you've got the the other like right. The, then these are styles. So you mix. You're gonna mix two decks together. The reason these are kind of showing. Uh, what's the word for that? Uh, that has no gender, like a genderless. Yeah, like like. Uh, what do you call uh, that? Uh, am 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 am. am <laughs> why am I struggling? What was it? Androgynous. 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 That's right. Thank it's an you. androgynous figure. Yes. Um, anyway, so you can be a healer. We didn't pick a healer because I don't know why. <laughs> or a protector. We're dead. Why did we not pick any We're defense? We're all dead. All right, well, that's all enough. Listen, listen. I am Edmund, the cutthroat captain. Well, when you're not until I can see it. Okay. So, oh, we showed all that stuff. All right. So, yeah, yeah. Mike, show your stuff. So, this okay. is the combo that Mike has chosen. Yeah, I'm playing as Devana, the demigod. Looks very, very, very formidable, I would say. I've got a signature side action uh, where I'm going to search your deck for loyal and, bat and ancestors. I'm going to have rally actions. That's kind of like my special action. I'm hopefully going to use that well. Uh, and that describes what rally means and right there. And your style? And my style is the Stormcaller. And so they've nice. got a passive ability of any time, the first time. Daughter of Zeus. Right, it looks like it. The first time that I can deal three or more damage at one time during each turn, I can draw a card. So if I can build up stronger attack abilities that allow me to draw cards. Ah, here's my character. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Is it Odette? Odette? Odetta? Odetti? 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 Odetta the Harlequin. The Harlequin. Yeah, well, she does card tricks. So that that like that's you, me, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So I have a bag of tricks. We'll talk yep. about that later. And I picked the trickster because Shocking. why not? That person has dice. Anything that implies gambling or <laughs> pressing your luck, Tom is in. I'm not even a gambler. <laughs> I'm not, not even real a gambler. Life. Yeah, real you, life. you role play it through these games. That's how it works. That's how I get my my gambling vibe. And I am Edmund, the captain. Right. I get to do treasure stuff, so I get to get a bunch of different treasures and hopefully use those for different side actions. So it allows mm. me to do side actions better. Does it feel good to stick that one foot on top of the treasure chest? Right. There you go. Cutthroat and captain. cutthroat. So this means I can, uh, each time I destroy an enemy, I get to draw cards. Because, you know, card draw and card games, normally pretty mm, good. Look at all those skulls, Roy. You know, I got to take out the baddies. All right, before, I we go any, some before we go any farther in this, let's talk about a contest that we have. Contest? You can contest. enter a contest for this. Um, it's open to folks in the U.S. That you have a week to enter, you need to email us at contest at dicetower.com. In the subject line, put the word rise. Mm. And then in the body, just put your address and we'll let you know if you win. We got two copies, two prizes from Nefarious Duck Champions Rise. Mm. Also, if you want to see the Kickstarter for this game, you can check the description below for a link to that. Um, okay, so 
We, in this game, you are going to fight one bad guy, and I think there's four bad guys included with the game. Uh, Mike, give me that giant deck of cards. Giant I'll, I'll quick, deck of cards. I'm going to quick pull out the ones that we are not fighting because we just chose not to fight them. So, oh, well, let's just go here in order. You're also fighting at a location. So here's a location we're not fighting at. Okay. Like a battlefield, right? Oh, Castle. Carnmore Castle, right? A, mm -hmm. battle, a battleground, it's called. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the other battle, and by the way, folks, you're going to see a lot of not artwork here. Yeah, it's still um, a pro prototype. Right. And the other place that we could be at, you know, I don't know where the other ones are. It so, is a giant deck of cards, Tom. Here's another, here's one of the villains we're not fighting. I got to say, I'm glad we're not fighting Graven. Doesn't well, yeah, look because like a look, pleasant character. Graven actually has three different, uh... It's very elemental. Oh. He's... All the elements. Oh, none of them look pleasant, Tom. That's the guy. That's like the final boss thing, yeah, right? Yeah, it's got to be. Entropy incarnate. Right. This isn't even my final form. That's right. <laughs> I'm toying with you. All right, and we're Oops. also not fighting against. Oh, the Kraken. Although the the uh, I think Roy's character is a little upset. We're not fighting the Kraken. Sorry. About Listen, that. I've had too many Krakens wreck my ship. Simon. Look at the hit points in that thing. It's a hundred plus ten no. per character. That's, he must be easy to hit. I guess. Put one random limb card into each. Oh, man. All right. And then Medusa. Don't look at it too long. No. Nah. Wait. No, it's if Medusa looks at you, right? Well, whatever. I mean, six of one, half a dozen the other. Time. No, I can look at Medusa as long as she's looking at Roy. <laughs> I guess that's true. Also, I just come in the battle with uh, all my, my armor is just mirrors. <laughs> Everything's mirrors. <laughs> that's right. I've learned that rule. Okay. All right. All right. So, but the character that we're going up against here is Lady Ivara, which mm. I don't know for sure, but I think that Odette and Ivara are estranged sisters. Ah. And we both went to a tattoo parlor one day, but mm. Ivara was addicted. Uh -oh. And that's because she has multiple tattoos. We start with one in play. So tattoos the one we're starting are addictive. Ask and, Roy. And if there's one thing we know, tattoos are addictive and evil. <laughs> yes, we're still planning to get tattoos for our kids. Yes, we kick start. We're just waiting till things calm down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm excited. Um, anyhow, so this is a tattoo that, that she's starting with in play, which has the that, there's a little C there at the top and hearts times six at six per champion. So she has the peacock has eighteen hit points and it says wow. when any other ally would be dealt damage redirected to this card. So we gotta kill this peacock first before we can even God, hit her. So we gotta take out She the has peacock. thirty plus seven per player, so she has fifty one. So we are at sixty nine. Wow. Okay. All right. We are fighting in the graveyard. The restless graveyard, Tom. Ooh. The restless graveyard. Yeah, because there's going to be zombies and stuff coming up. Okay. But the zombies are going to be attacking her as well as us. So I feel good about that, I hope. We've already done the setup for this, I assume? We have all the setup and everything is done. Wow. Hopefully. So let's go through a turn here. Are we ready? We're let's ready, go. Tom. All right. So the first thing we do is we do a battlefield turn. Are there any start of turn effects? So let's look here. Start of each battlefield turn, advance a night token by one. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. We have a night thing here. Um, and this says, at the end of each battlefield turn, each undead heals three. It's dusk. It was twilight. So, oh well. That would have been nice in twilight, but we're not in twilight. Right. Well, but th we, there's none of them that have been damaged, so the healing... Well, if we hit them, well, we'll be Well, that's fine. Yeah. Anyhow, so then that's the first thing we do. We do start a turn effects. That was a start a turn effect for the graveyard. Okay. Then... We will uh, draw one of these is going to come and attack the villain. So we've drawn oh. an Undead Colossus. Oh, that's nice. The Undead Colossus has 12 hit points. So I'm going to put 12 hit points on this card. Mm. No, no, no. It's not coming after us. It's going after the battle. Oh, it's right. going after her. When this card enters play, it deals each enemy in its play area two damage. Nice! Okay. So I'm assuming it will deal the Noble Peacock two. And then when this would be dealt damage, it comes back and hits this again, so this takes four damage. Ah. Uh, Tom, there's a few corrections. So Nick says, three-player game, this should be 51 health, and then start in Twilight. So the first moves it on to Twilight, I guess. Got it. Okay. okay. Uh, and we did start with 51 health. Did I, I must, no, I said 69 because I was including, including the Noble Peacock's right. health. 
But yes, we do have 51 health on her. So, okay, each champion may take an additional draw uh, side action during their turn. Oh, okay. okay. Good, 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 good. Draw extra right. cards. That's yes. a good thing. All right. Then, so we drew the bad guy. Okay, so this card, when this card enters play, it deals each enemy its player two damage. At the start of the battlefield turn, in the future, this card deals you three damage. No! That's, that's her, oh. I think. Um, when another undead is destroyed, this card heals equal to the max health of the destroyed unit. This is nice. I like now, so how does it. So how did it trigger on her instead of us? It just does that? Oh, yeah, it does that. But now, that was that card. Now we draw one for, for me, because uh, I'm for the first time. player. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's always going to go one there, one to the first player. First player is going to pass around the table. I'm hoping Colossus is the meanest card in the deck. Correct. Risen Zombie. When this card enters your play area, you deals you two damage. Oh. Fantastic. You got zombied. Hang on a second. You already have something you can play to. I have a... I, it's not in my hand, but oh, I have okay. a mirror type thing. Oh, I, I know okay. we were just joking about it, but I actually do have mirrors. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. Anyway, at the start of battlefield turn, this card deals the enemy unit with the lowest health of its play area two damage. All right. Okay, whatever. So I have this thing. I could, I could hit this. Or something else. Anyway, we've done that. Now we're each going to take turns starting with me. All right. So on a player's turn, at start of your turn, you do start and play effects. I don't have any. Mm -hmm. mm, no, I don't. Then you can take a side action and play as many cards as you want. So side actions are things that you can always do, one on your turn. Um, you have five basic ones. You can draw a card as a side action from your draw pile. You can heal one, so I could heal one right now. Mm -hmm. I could attack for one damage something, mm -hmm. which seems pointless right now, at least. Right. I mean, if something was teetering on the edge of death, maybe. I can energize one, give myself another energy, because we start with four energy. Mm -hmm. Or I could help someone who's been knocked out, but we'll worry about that when it happens. Right. Those are the basic side actions you can do. You also have a side action on your character card. So, for example, my side action says I can draw a card, then place a card from my hand into my bag of tricks. I start here with a bag of tricks here, mm. and the energy cost of cards played from here is reduced by one. Okay. Um, you cannot play cards from here unless a card lets me do so. All right. So I have to, but I, I have a lot of things that let me do so. So I think I'm going to actually... You do get a free draw side action. You're right. So I'll take the free draw one before I forget. Then I'm going to do that action. I'm going to draw a card mm -hmm. and then put a card from my hand into... Your bag of tricks. Your discount bag. It's the, the, the bargain discount bag. Yeah. So we're all start with four I'm gonna here. I'm going to move this down a little bit. Yeah, because I'm going to be playing cards above my Interesting. board. Interesting. I'm going to put a blade. I'm going to put a blade juggle in my bag of tricks. Blade juggle. All right. So now I can play cards. My special ability trickster lets me. My first card I play each turn. The cost is reduced by one. Ooh. So I think I'm going to play Hidden Blade here. It costs two energy, but it only is going to cost me one. Mm -hmm. I can do one enemy, three damage. Hit that tattoo. I oh. think so. Mm -hmm. I, 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 well, I'm going to hit the three. Even if he hit this, it would still hit It'd still go to there, but he could hit that zombie. Yeah, no, I could hit the zombie. Yeah. But I'm going to let the zombie sit here for a while. That may, I may regret that, but if there's one thing I've learned from playing games like this... Go for the boss. Go Focus for the fire. boss. All right, now, the Hidden Blade says if this card was played from the Bag of Tricks, it would have done four. If otherwise, it goes into my Bag of Tricks. Ah. So hopefully, it says if you have three or more cards in your Bag of Tricks, I can play one. So um, I'm trying to fill this up. You're a real trickster. I can see that that trickster is coming into effect. Um, And then I think I'm going to play a Blade Juggle. This cost me one energy. Okay. And if it's played from anywhere else, I draw a card and place this card in my bag of tricks. So now I have three cards in my bag of tricks, so I'll be able to do some tricky stuff next turn. Right. I'm finished. Roy. Okay. It'll be my turn again to loot. Um, I'm going to pay one to play out the treasure map. That will be used on a future turn to get any card out of my deck. Um, uh, did you do the... I didn't do the... The side action yet. Let me do my first side action. You can draw a card for free, right? I'll draw yep. a card for free for my first side There's action. There's tokens that we could have given people that uh, we might have. I'll put one on you so you can remember. Yes. Nice. Actually, that's down here. Down here. For That's what that's for. Oh, man. I kind of want to play that guy. Play um, that guy. Actually, I think. There you go. There we go. 
Uh, All right, I guess I should play that guy instead. Um, I'm going to play out the treasure map, like I said. Uh, let's let's show the treasure map. Here. Show that treasure map. That'll let me go through my deck. I'm going to mark. Roy loves going. Oh, I like that a lot. Did yeah, that yeah. cost? That actually didn't cost an energy, Roy. That cost a treasure. Oh, that cost one treasure. Okay, cool. But um, you can get a treasure as your side action. Yeah, I think you'll have to get the treasure before you can play the card. No, I get the tre treasure at the start of my turn. Oh, oh, so then just put your treasures here. I did. Oh, and then I put the cost back over there. Come on. Um, well, I know, but we're showing three. people how to do it. I know right. that you did it all in your head. Okay, um, and then I'm doing this to mark this guy. What are we doing? Um, you so mark I can the do prey, extra attach it to a non-character unit. Increase damage you do to that unit by one when that card is destroyed. Okay, good. So you marked her tattoo. Mm. Marked her tattoo. Roy traced it. Highlight it. <laughs> Look! I could spend uh, more energy now, but I think I need to save. Save with what I have. Um, oh, I haven't actually taken an actual side action. I'll take a side action to energize. Energize. Cool. All right, so it comes to me. I need to build up more treasure. You didn't have a good side action on your card? No, no, this this lets me take extra side actions if I have treasures. I use my treasure to play the map. Oh, I'm saying you don't have a side action, though. No. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take my free draw a card. All I'm right. doing a little bit of building up here. Okay, so for my side action, I'm going to do my signature side action, which is to search my deck or discard pile for a loyal uh, ancestor. I'm going to play Elevator Music. Play it f f uh, for <laughs> once. And it's going to cost one less. I woke my kids up today with 80 theme, TV right. theme songs. So, this is a unit that's going to cost me one instead of two because I used that. He has All four right. hit points. So I will put them When on. it enters play, it deals one enemy, one damage. So let's let's rock out that. I can actually hit your zombie too, couldn't I? I was literally just asking that question. Yeah. Can you attack a, someone in front of someone else? That's a question to ask, but I still don't think you should. No, I, let's 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 hit that tattoo. All right, so that's one. Um, that tattoo's down to ten. Right. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so I did my free <laughs> card draw, and I did that, and then it also says rally. After I've done that. The rally effect is loyal ancestor deals one da enemy one damage. So do it again. Oh. Bang! All right. Um, so now I'm doing. It still that. felt a little underwhelming. Don't you worry about that, Tom. We we just got started. Um, then we're gonna do a war cry, which is no cost. Gain one energy. Rally. Bang! Hit it again. Then we're gonna play another war cry, which is no cost. Gain one energy. Rally. Bang! Hit it again. Are you sure you could have like put out another card that with a rally effect on? You could have done these rally effects double times. So what I'm going to do next? <laughs> <laughs> you just rally twice. I'm saying if you had first played something what, else, like, like this one maybe that could have doubled that up. <laughs> well, go ahead. It's a cooperative game. All right. So if I had played, well, would I've had enough? Yeah, I would have had enough because I, I th that would only cost me two, and I gained two. So I would have had one left. So, okay, let's do that. So that means it's going to do how many more? Two more damage or yes. three? Because then each time you... Yeah, yeah. When no. he enters play, he does a damage. Oh, okay, so that's three. Then. Three, yeah. Roy, I'm glad you put that do an extra damage to the guy because... Yeah, he's almost dead. He's almost okay. dead. You should have played it on her. Right. Now... No, um, I can't. She's not a unit. Now I'm going to play the Tidal Wave, which costs two energy. Your champions deal each enemy, each enemy, three damage. Is that three? Let me get my old man specs You can out. hit any target. Oh, that's two damage, not three. Oh, no, I don't want to play Tidal Wave. I want to play Lightning Strike. Your champion deals one enemy, three damage. So we're going to do that because now I can draw a card because I did three or more damage on one turn. I just want to tell you, I did like 55 damage just now. I okay, don't think to clarify, we actually know the amount you've done. <laughs> I did all right. It's, sorry for your wasted card. All right. It's down to one. Oh, you're going to go first next turn. <laughs> You'll hit yes. it for, if you hit it for zero, it worked. <laughs> I don't think that's possible. All right. So I think that's it for me, right? All right. So now that all the cards. good guys have gone, the villain will go. Let's see if they have any start of turn effects. At the start of a turn, if there's no tattoo cards in play, we, okay, we have one in play, fortunately. Um, okay. So then uh, we draw a card from the villain deck. All right, Mike, let's see what we got here. What's the villain doing? Oh, boy. He's a scrivener. Another unit with 12 hit points. 
So at the start of her turn, we'll put we'll play the top card of the tattoo deck. So we're gonna be adding tattoos while this guy is alive. At the end Holy of her smokes. turn, this card deals X damage where X is the number of tattoos plus one. Oh boy. No 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 no. This this character is dying. Does, does based that, on the number of tattoos. Does that count just the tattoos in the game or like the tattoos on people? Because if we start counting those up, it's gonna be really damaging. <laughs> tattoos Says, in play. Tattoos in play. Are, is your arm in play? Uh, well, Mike's shoulder's in play. Nah. Mike doesn't have a tattoo yet. <laughs> I have Mike has tattoos. plenty of tattoos. I just don't have one on my shoulder yet. I'm saving that for our stretch goal. Fine. Let's put this here. <laughs> I don't... Yeah, we need to put this yeah. here. Okay, so this has 12 hit points. All right, so we played the card. Now we do end of turn effect. So this one happens. There's one tattoo in play, so it hits itself for two damage. All right. Strange. And then for her... Says at the end of her turn, she deals the first player C plus characters. Is that C minus one? Sorry, I'm having a time. It looks like C minus one, so two damage to mm. me. Because I'm the first player. You've got that first player disadvantage. Now all of us draw one card okay. and gain two energy. Oh, I good, like good, it. Good. I like it. And then the first player token that. passes to Roy. All right, let's kill some things. And now we got to do the uh, battlefield stuff, battlefield right? Battlefield stuff. Right, so that was one whole turn. Mm. That's how that works. And well, I feel like that we did okay. I mean, I'm a little beat up, but you mm. guys don't care. No. So. <laughs> Although it's it's quite, but you got a big zombie tricks. though, right? Yeah, you do have the zombie, Tom. That's that's not good. So here we go. Start the battlefield turn. Start the battlefield turn. This card deals the enemy unit with the lowest health in its play area two damage. Hmm. All right, over here, the start of each battlefield turn, advance a knight token by one. The start of each battlefield turn, this undead's going to heal three. So, oh. well, we hadn't hit him yet anyway, no. but we need to remember that if we don't hit him, if we can't hit him for you more need than to kill three, him did all we the way find out. out if we can hit your zombie? Yes. Yes, we can. yes, we okay. can. Um, oh, let's see, any other thing at the start? At the start of each battlefield turn, draw one random undead card, and Roy? I get it. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm reading that one. Does it go on the enemy first, or no? Oh, does the enemy get another one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, wait. I forgot, sorry, Battlefield turn. This card does you three damage. Oh. And two to her. Outstanding. Do we get rid of the peacock now? I'll take my card back and put it in my discard pile. This Shamefully. one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. mark? Yeah. It only costed one, it's fine. Um... Would, would she have hit that, though? She does the first player. At the start of her turn, if there are no tattoos in play. Um, at the start of the villain turn, they deal each battlefield and they're uh, three damage. Yeah, she would have done three damage to this. She's beating up on the, yep. the Undead Colossus. That's right. I'm got, really glad we drew that Undead Colossus. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good card to... Yeah, that, Colossus that would be terrible that, against one of us. but That would be oh. awful against one of us, yes. But I'm happy for it to... Okay. Um... So is that gone, the uh, peacock? Yeah, the peacock is gone, and it says, when a tattoo is destroyed, put it on the bottom of the deck. No, it can come back. At the start of her turn, she'll bring another one in place. So she has no okay. tattoos right now. No. That means we can straight, we can straight up wreck her. Tattooless. Straight up wreck her. Sounds like a, 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 she, wait, she got a some, la some laser surgery. The non-tattooed. Uh, that's right. All right. Now, do we do a battlefield card to Roy now? Oh, wait, that Mark Price says we get something from it. What is it? What is it? What happens? When that unit's destroyed, draw a card, gain an energy. Okay. Oh, okay. nice. Perfect. So then, so that was worth it then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we did a, I got, I got a my energy back card for the card. enemy. I did not. I just drew no. that now. Okay. So here we go. Risen Zombie. When this card is your player, it does you two damage. Bang. <laughs> do that day. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, at the start of Battlefield turn, this card will do the enemy unit with lowest health in its play. Oh, right. So she's going she's she's gonna to kill these things. But yeah. they're going to heal. And more tattoos are going to come out, and they'll attack the tattoos before they will her. I just don't want these undead to kill her, because then we'd sit there and go. Listen, if we survive, that's right. That's, that's all, all that matters. matters. I don't care if the zombies. She's kill the her one who the... chose to fight us in that's a graveyard. Right. That's right. Now, do, does Roy get a battlefield card? He does. Yes. Six feet under. Oh, that sounds pleasant. This is a duration card, so it stays in play. While this card is in your play area, you are stunned. At the end of your turn, discard this card. What does stunned mean? One Let's moment, please. Out. Stunned. I bet it's going to cost you more energy. Stunned. Or Maybe on your iPad there. Stunned. 
One moment. <laughs> These are. Uh, stunned is not here. Hang on. Um, I think these are in order, right? Does it say on the card what it does? Um, at the end of your turn, discard this card. Now it just says you're stunned. Duration, misfortune, six feet under. Okay, just looking through here. Piercing, player, uh, stunned would be after start of turn. <laughs> it's out there. All right, well, I'm sure that they could tell us in the thing here. What does stun mean? I hope it doesn't mean you miss your whole turn, because that would be That ooh, would be That would awful. be unfortunate. I'm going to pretend like it doesn't and start doing my turn. Unfortunate. I gain a treasure because of ability. Well, hang on. We're still doing the, the phase for the, the bad guys here, right? We did that. We did that. And right in the turn things. Nick says you lose your turn. No! All the right. Turn. Sorry, you've been so you do, that card do, now. do different abilities. Like this happens at the start of my turn. This triggers um, at the start of my turn. To start a turn ability still work? Yeah, I guess that's the question. Like, does the abilities go off and things like that? Like, is there a way? I mean, does the so what the treasure map do? It lets me go through the deck and get any card out of my deck. Yeah, it's it. in my hand. We're going to slide this up just a bit. All right. So, um, so our most powerful pirate yes. has been taken out of this equation for this turn. Mm. But we're still waiting to see if start of turn. Right. Well, so what is your start of turn? Let's just talk through it. This, this it would just give me a treasure here. And then this would let me go get a card on my deck. Right, so does that stuff still go off, or does like his entire turn get skipped? And if so, does any bad guys on him, would those still attack him on his turn? So I don't have any bad guys currently. I would just get rid of the six feet under um, and end my turn. Six feet under. Also, is there a hand limit? Mm. Um, Stun means you can't play side actions, can't play cards, can't deal damage. Passive effects still work. Passive effects still work. So All right, so, so what's your or... passive stuff do? I mean, I just have start of turn stuff. So if this happens to start of turn, then the treasure map would go away, and I get to get a card out of my deck. All right. So then moving the over to you. All right. So here we go. For my basic side action, this do I want to do my basic or do I want to do my signature? Um, I could bring out how many loyal ancestors do I, I guess have? Guess it goes in the discard pile. I'm going to check just because I'm not really familiar with my deck. I'm going to see if I have another one because if I don't have another one, then this makes no sense. I'll reshuffle. Oh, I can see I have one. All right. <laughs> It was at the bottom. It happened to be at the bottom of my deck. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll do my signature side action again. Um, I will search my deck for a loyal ancestor and play it, uh, reducing its cost by one. So it's going to cost me one to put this one out. All right. And then I'm going to rally again. This is definitely your style. Yeah, this totally is. I know. And so then I rally again. Each of these are going to deal a damage. And it could be to any of them. I could do them to your zombie. Well, I don't mind if you hit... My zombie, I'm if I'm, then I'm going to hit it for the rest of the damage. It's fine with me. I mean, this is a cooperative game. If you think that you want to get that out of your... All right, I'm, I'm cool with that. All right, Thanks. Can that. you rally again? Um, I can. As a matter of fact, I can do it right now by for free by gaining a energy and rallying. So there's another three. So the zombie is dead. And that should have four health on it, right? It says risen zombies. I wouldn't be surprised if that zombie somehow... It says that at the beginning of this thing, we're supposed to start with three in the graveyard. So I would imagine. Oh right, they can come I imagine back. they're coming back. It is also called a restless graveyard. Yes. Nice. All right. Um, do not rest in non-peace. Let's do the tidal wave. Two energy. <laughs> and well, by I the deal time you do get taken, each you're enemy. Play your whole hand. I deal each <laughs> enemy two damage. Does that say each enemy? Yeah. Oh, well, that's not really good there because we just took yours Keep out. Keep that card, Mike. Yeah, yeah, no, that's... that's let's Wait till, well, I mean... No, no, well, no, you would hit this stupid Scrivener. Is it worth it for two enemies? Well, he is going to put another card all in right, there. All right, all we'll, right, we'll keep it in there. So do two to the Scrivener and two to the, to the lady. Um, quick question here. Six, seven, eight. Um, this says at the start of her turn, we played it, he plays a top card of the tattoo deck. 
And this says at the start of her turn, if there's no tattoo cards in play, play the top card of the tattoo deck. Which one happens first? Because that's a big deal. Yeah. Do we play this first, then he plays one? Or does he play one first and we were like, oh, there's one in play, we don't need to play another yeah. one? I'm, I know what the answer is going to be, but I'm asking anyway. Correct. Yeah, exactly. They're going to both hit us. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm, I'm just asking. I'm out of energy, and that's the, so that's it for my turn. I don't draw a card at the end of my turn, do I? We will soon. We all oh, draw God. a card we, to the villain. Yeah, all right, end. so I am Fini. I, I, look, I'm feeling like Devana here is Well, now as my shot. side action, I can play a card from my bag of tricks. All right. So I'm actually, do you think I should hit that Scrivener? Because I can keep, do four damage. If it's going to keep bringing out but tattoos. But it has... It has eight. Hmm. I did what I could, Tom. I am but one demigod. What do you have? You have anything in there that could do more damage? I can hit it for another damage, five. But I mean, it's gonna it's gonna deal damage to itself for the number of tattoos in play plus one. Mm. So it's eventually gonna kill itself. I just don't know that we should leave it out there until we have like five tattoos. Right? In play. No, no. I'm I I don't think I look through the tattoos. They're all horrific. They're not, they're not good, right? Mm. So uh, the villain takes priority. Okay. All right. Um. So that's gonna bring out two tattoos. Fine. I'm hitting it. All right. So. Oh, I like the sound effects, Tom. That was nice. Four damage to the Scrivener. And um, so that played from here. And then, and that was my signature essay. That was your side action, yep. So then I'm going to play... I'm going to play this card because it's fun. All right. Oh, we'll When I play a card for my bag of tricks, does it cost energy? Because if so, I'm not going to do that. Oh. I need to, I need to gonna, know. I thought it cost the cost I would think it would minus cost. one. Oh, uh, okay. Reduced cards cost here for my one. So that would actually cost, that hidden blade would cost two. Oh, why? Is that a three, three energy card? Yeah. No, yes, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm actually not going to do that. All right. So, sorry. <laughs> the dagger comes back. Instead, it's a boomerang dagger. I'm playing this trickster grand scheme. It's going to cost me all my energy because my first card I play is reduced by one. Okay, but that must be a good so card five. to cost five. Each champ reveals the top card of the deck. You, they may play it without paying its cost or discard it to get two energy. Four bear spear. Oh, you yeah. may take an additional attack. I'm side discarding action. mine to get two energy. And a rally effect. Yeah, that could have been really nice, but I'm just going to take the two energy. Oh, man, this is a good card. What does it do? It's basically it's an equipment, and it says I can take an additional attack side action. It has a rally effect of a dealing one enemy one attack, and it has its own side effect of dealing an enemy one damage and rally. This could be like a four damage card as a side effect. That's pretty good. It costs three energy, so that's better than taking yeah, two energy. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm keeping it okay. out there. So then I got two. I, I, I got two energy out of mine. Mm -hmm. So now I'll spend mine to pay. I only need. I'll do my side action now. I'll do the, uh, the, you know. So let me get a plus one attack. Here we go. Put that right there. I have one energy left. I'll do the blade dance. Deals up to three energies, one damage each, and I put it in my bag of tricks. So, one to him and one to the scrivener. All right. All right, so now the bad guy goes. So brings a new tattoo into play. The we don't draw a card yet, right? Not yet. Okay. The bad guy goes first. Oh. She gains one armor, which means she'll be subtracting one from every oh, that attack that we do. Because I have a lot of one-hit attacks. Sure, but we, you can kill the turtle. The turtle has f uh, six hit points. Hmm. Hmm. You're right, though. That does bring you bring what yeah, you got. Yeah, because I've got a lot of you know. This turtle damage. itself has two dam two armor, though. Uh, every time it's dealt damage, it becomes immune to damage until the end of the turn. Wow. At the end of her turn, she's going to heal eight damage. Holy smokes. What? Okay, so that's one tattoo. Then he brings another one in play. The oh. Pouncing Tiger. This one has 12 hit points. Mm. Um, each time we take two or more side actions in a turn, it does them two damage. Oh, I don't care about that. No, I kinda At the end do. of her turn, this card deals the player to the left of the first player two damage. I don't care about that either. I kind of do because I, I do a lot. I have extra side actions here. That sucks. Okay. 
All right. So there's two in play. So now he takes three at the end of his turn. Well, let me go through her whole turn mm -hmm. first. So we did all the start of the turn stuff. So now we draw a card. Cruel Absorption. Destroy the battlefield unit with the highest health. Yeah, well. Oh, that's a shame, man. I liked that card. Well, I mean, that's what she was going to do, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't think it would be so easy that they were just going to sit there and whoop up on her. Um, she and each tattoo heal equal to the remaining health of the destroyed unit wow. to a maximum of 10. Oh. Well, she's at 35, 36, 46. Yeah, she heals up to oh, her man. total amount, which is 51. So all that damage for not. 35, 45, 46, 40, 50. Hang on. That is 25, 35, 45, 50, 51. Yep. <sighs> all right. Well, I mean, at least we killed. What did we do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Killed a zombie. We, we maybe. killed off the bird thing that helped her. Yeah, we killed off the. So we yeah, but we brought two two. Where I don't. We yeah, did we nothing can, really. We can we still directly went. attack her now. Yeah, I guess. Alrighty. So anyway, that's gone. Uh, now end of turn stuff. So at the end of her turn, this card does. This card they get killed. The scrivener's dead, so that's good. Mm-hmm. And then at the end of her turn, this card does person to the left of the first player two damage. And at the end of their turn, she heals eight. She's already fully, yeah. fully healed. And at the end of her turn, she does you two damage. Um, can I get some ones? I'll take three ones. Three ones. Yes. Thank you. You got it. All right. Ooh, first player, first. do you want to be first player? No, can we skip me, please? No. All right. But well, we skipped me, so. Oh, we also get True. two energy and draw a card. Two energy, draw a card. <laughs> Roy needs energy. <laughs> Instant win. Oh, cool. No. All right. All right. And now to the environment. Environment for the enemy first, right? Do, do, do. Still dusk. At the end of each battlefield turn, each undead's going to heal, so none of the undead are... We don't have to worry about that. Okay. Um, so then we draw a card for her. When this card is your play, it deals you two damage. Good. But at the start of the battlefield turn, it's going to do the enemy unit with the lowest health and it's play two damage. It's going to start hitting the tattoos. Okay. But it does hurt two damage right now. Coming and how in. much how much health does it have? Four? It has six. Six, okay. A All risen right. zombie. She has two risen. Oh. And it started a battlefield card. It says the lowest health and it's played two damage. Lowest health is the turtle, but the turtle also has two armor, so nothing uh, happens. Brutal. That turtle's going to be rough. He has two armor? Yeah. That two armor is nasty. It is. And, and after he takes damage, it makes it so you can't damage him anymore. And it heals. No, it heals her. It not, heals it her. Heal so, so we really need to take it out before we, need, we start taking we, it yeah, out. Yeah, I don't see anything. We have The, 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 the tiger's one thing. Turtles. The terrible. turtle, though, we the have turtle, to we have, we to, have to take out the turtle. The right. problem is, is I'm set up to do a lot of single damage. And you're also first player, so that's good. Fantastic. But I also have to take a <laughs> so so after card after me, anybody deals damage the rest of the round, or just during that one player's turn. One. Player oh yeah, good question damage. on the turtle. So if let's say Mike did three damage to the turtle and one of it got through, that turtle cannot take any more damage to the end of the turn. Is that at the end of Mike's turn or the end of all our turns? Yeah, I see. We have this cannot take damage token here. Yeah. All right, so I, but I think I have to take. I don't want to, but I think I have to take one of those nasty. You do cars. get one. Let's hope it's not one of those colossus. No, it's just a risen zombie. It gives you two damage. There's a lot of these risen zombies. Okay, so I take two damage. So let me get three back. Uh, one, two. The turtle only makes her heal five. Three. By the way. Did say five? Oh, it's C plus two, not C times two. Right, okay. so five. five. Okay. All right, so did we heal her too much then? No, no, no. We healed her she from was, that. She was fully healed she already. Ate, uh, she ate the okay. giant colossus. We so, thought it was good to have a big monster out there. Then not, she not ate with it that card. It basically undid all the damage it did to her. So So I've got this additional thing, but it does me no good because my that's just a one damage thing, right? I don't know what that is. How do you This have is that? an additional attack damage. I got it from this. You you can take an additional attack side, of, side action. But I don't want to take additional ones because right now... I take two damage if I do more than... I guess you could kill your zombie. I could go after the zombie. It's got, what, four on it? Uh, so you have nothing that does more than well three damage? 
That, that does more than three? No. I mean, it does three or more. Um, not. Also, right. the immunity only lasts for your turn. So if you okay. if you do any damage to me, I can, if you can do over two and do one to it, I don't know that I can do much more. I, though. I can do three to it. So if you guys can get, how much does it have? Has if two you guys armor, can get though. down three, I can get down the other three. Ugh. All right. So but that would be like a concerted effort, but it would be worth it. Do you have an awesome card in your discard pile that you've already used? Let's see here. Not I think really. I have the treasure do... map thing to let me go get any card in my deck, but that's going to be a whole other round before I get to do anything with it. So I don't really have anything super awesome. I will have more awesome stuff in my discard pile I'm after just, I I'm just going to get rid of this zombie uh, is what I'm going to do. Um, and because the way I'm going to do that is... Um, gosh, I need to see if I have another loyal ancestor here. I don't think I do. i got to shuffle my deck, too. I don't. Okay, so I can't do that because I've got all three loyal ancestors in play. Um, yeah, this zombie's not going to even hit you. It's going to hit your ancestors. Well, I'm going to get rid of it because at least then I can do something. Okay. Um, so I think what I'll do... I can't really hit that turtle. I can't do much at all. If you, if, Oh, gosh. I don't if know you, if you guys can hit it for three, I can finish it off on I my do, turn. I just don't. Yeah, I don't... No, but we can hit it for three. We can only hit it, I can only hit it for... Okay, so I'm going to do it this... It has two armor. Right. I'm so gonna do the if side you can hit it for two and you can hit it for spear. one, I can okay. hit it for the other three. I'm going to do the side action of this spear, which is Demigod deals one enemy, one damage, and rally. So that's going to do one da damage to that. Then it's going to rally. Boom, boom, boom. So that's all four damage right there. That is six. Okay, so then it still has two left. <laughs> hmm. um, okay, so that was one side action. Then... I'll play this Tactician's Wisdom for two. It's a duration card. And it says you may take an additional draw side action. I'll have to do that on my next one. And then the rally effect here is increase the next damage dealt by one unit by one. So that's the best I can do, I think, honestly. All right. Oh, I think I should be able to take care of the turtle. Take care of the turtle, Roy. It's you, Tom. Because cannot take... Destroy beats cannot take damage, I'm pretty sure. What's that? Destroy would beat cannot take damage. I would right? think, right? Destroying is not attacking. It's just getting rid of it, I would hope. And we have to see, maybe you can see what the... Yeah, well, that's key, gonna, I'll, I'll look at that. All right. I'm going to play this holding ace. It, that's going to cost me one energy. No, so you're not taking a side action? Not yet. Oh, do I take a side I action think, first? I would think you'd have to do that before you do I would do just take an energy then. Okay. okay. So I'm playing this one. I can discard... Everyone can discard a card from their hand, and if you do so, you can pick a card from your discard pile and put it on top of your deck. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I am not going to do that. The yeah, I know it's expensive. not as good for you, Roy, but it's going to give me that grand scheme back. That's fine. I'd rather put the top card of my deck when you do that. So. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. I, I want to get that back in, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to stop there because I want to save up so I can wail on... I mean, we well, could have a great turn. I'll be able to do something now, <laughs> in theory. <laughs> All right, Roy. We gotta skip. A, we gotta find a way to skip a turn. No, good. Okay, I'll get a treasure at the beginning of my turn. Did you want me to skip your turn? Well, no, I do not. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin three energy and turn it into three treasures. Nice. Um, Did you get the free treasure too? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm so you got five I'm, treasure. Oh, trust me. I've been energy. thinking about this turn for a while, Thomas. <laughs> Flush with treasure. I've been thinking about this turn for a while. I'm gonna play this guy down. Um, he costs two treasure. Um, so you hired and, a mercenary. Yeah, I hired a mercenary. I think this guy's all about building up crews and then Let's doing stuff with the crews. Here. Yeah, so, show um, the thing. Yeah, whenever I gain treasure, I can deal two damage to something. Nice. Um, and he's got six health, too. Was there no way yes. to play that guy before you took the treasure? No, no. I, no that's a Thomas, action. I got cards. Come on. I will I will gain a treasure. Um, I, said, I'm, I asked Roy if you played a card Roy, in the correct he's, order. He's, One, two, three, he's, four, he's four five. At you. I'm going to spend five, and I'm going to deal five damage to three things. Oh, my goodness. Well, oh. Units, I guess. I'm gonna do. Can one of them be that turtle tattoo. Yes, I'm killing, <laughs> doing the turtle. So that I'm only actually does three damage to the turtle. I understand. But... How much damage do you have left? Three. Can Good. you do it again? No, no, he can't immune. be. He can't be damaged. <laughs> Cannot take damage. Um, but I'm also gonna do it to the tiger. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna let Tom deal with that. Um, and Ooh. I can't. I can't attack Five her because she's not a unit. I can attack Mike's so and kill dead. that off. So he did three to the tiger. No, no, no. It's five to everything. Oh. 
Okay, cool. Yes. Um, Do we kill that? No, no, no. No, well, I'm we'll not killing that. any of the guys that are attacking yeah, that. Let her deal with her arms. Right. That's We're not point. helping her. No. I would spend two energy to uh, play this guy. Um, he lets me gain a treasure. When I gain a treasure, I can do two damage to something. I'm going to do two damage, I guess, to... Do I do it to her or the tiger? It does one to her. And she's going to heal from the turtle anyway. I'm going to kill the turtle right now. How? It's, it cannot take damage. He's gonna I'm going to kill the turtle with this card. Ooh, I like that. What's, it, what's that card say? It lets me destroy a unit with four or less health. Oh, so yeah. So I will be destroying... Roy, Wait, why does he have so many things on it? You didn't kill us. I don't know what I'm doing. Point, right? Hang on. <laughs> he has three hit points. Why does he have so many? Did I add to him? You have. He has more hit points than he started with. Yeah, that's not. That, that's <laughs> okay. How about on. this? There we go. Thank you. Okay. I'm anyway. actually working for her. <laughs> Traitor. Can clarify the villain is a unit, so she could be attacked. Oh. Um. Interesting. Who well, are there other than the tiger then? So what? Do her rather than the tiger. So yeah, the five damage instead of the tiger. So give the, the tiger five hit points back and do five to her. That's right. I hate her so much. <laughs> um, and then this is going to hey, trigger... we used to be friends. That's right. Well, it's true. I'm just going to do one more to her just because we need to take her down as much as we can. Yep. This de deal destroys something with four health or less. I'm destroying the turtle. Get rid of the, Get the, rid turtle of the stupid turtle. Hey. I hate the turtle. Hate the turtle. I'm going to... Use, I'm going to use one of these to energize as a side action to get this over to two. I'm going to use a flintlock shock and spin a treasure, so I do four damage. Man, Roy is wrecking to shop here. Her, so she's going to take four more damage. That you may pay two. one. You can pay a treasure to increase yeah, it by did. two. You got it. Okay. This is why yeah. we play with Roy. That's right. Um, well, I mean, I had a bunch of stuff over there because I was waiting. Um, I'm just going to wait. Is That's be right. It is. I'm just going to wait on the rest of this stuff. So, that's where I'm at. That's all you did, Roy? That yes. was a pretty pathetic turn. That was kind of weak. Can, can, can I killed like that turtle. Harder? That was can the main thing. Can you try harder next time? Right? That was the main thing, was killing that turtle. <laughs> all right. Villainous turn. Any start of turn effect. So, she has a tattoo in play. And that doesn't have a start of turn. Um, nope. Nope. I don't think we... Oh, and I destroyed an enemy, so I should draw a card for this as well. Uh, okay, so Perfect. let's draw a card for her. Combination attack. Lady Ivara and each tattoo in play deal the first player two damage each. Again? So, so four. Four damage. Hey, at least Roy killed the turtle one. You did kill the turtle. I'm down to ten health. That's okay. I feel okay. It's okay! I just want to make it so that we could actually hurt her without her going right. the wrong direction. How much more health does she have? <laughs> I mean, I dealt six to her. She should be down She's at six. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Okay. She should be down exactly six. No. 35, 40, 41, 42, 43. And 51 is six, right? No. No. You've only did six damage to her? I did exactly six damage to her. And I think she was at full health before that. 35. Um, I'm not doing a really good job at adding here no. today. So 30, 40, 41, 42, Did he make her go up 44. too high or does she need know. to be lower? It's 51, right? And you did 6. So yes. that'd be 46. Also, Roy has a cutthroat passive and draw a treasure when you destroy an enemy. Draw a treasure when you destroy an enemy. No, 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 on here. On your card. Yeah, I did this. I drew the cutthroat treasure. Um, I'll start your turn each time you gain one treasure. Each time the captain or crew destroys a card. Which you did. I did that twice. I mean, I technically destroyed this card. Is it just things that say destroy cards? Or if you kill off a, a enemy, that also counts as destroy? Because I killed your zombie, too. Does right, that give you a treasure? destroy take, it. Right. Well, I would take two. Because if you kill a card, it destroys it, I think. Okay. Well, this also is destroying. And that's what he was saying was triggering. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. okay, so... Um... We played the, her card. Yes. And now she's going to hit somebody. She's going to deal each unit three damage. So this zombie takes three. And this zombie takes three. Watch me to make sure I'm doing his numbers right. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> All right. So she hits them. 
She played the card, and now end of her turn. At the end of her turn, this card does oh, wait. two damage to me. Oh, no, that's once per turn. Thank goodness. I was going to say, this would have triggered two more times, but no, it's once okay. per turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The tiger is not bothering me. I mean, I don't like being down to eight. Right. But, I mean, I'm at half life. But I, that's better than yeah. that turtle. My right. word. We need to just start hitting Time to her, hit her as hard as we can now. Are the zombies going to hit her, or what's up with those? Yeah, at the start of their environment turn, which is in a okay. moment. But we all got two energy in a card. Two energy, Woo! and I have one card. Okay. My card was the grand scheme. I never realized yeah. that. All right. And I have enough energy to play it. And I'm first player, which is good. You are. All right. So first, Wrestle's Graveyard. Start of turn, move this. Undead deal plus one damage at midnight. Not good. Except, yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> I got rid of yours, and she has a couple on they her. Take, she gets six damage. Each zombie hit her twice. Nice. Um, is there any other zombies or anything out? No Just zombies those two? out. Okay, so we play a card from here on her. When this card enters play, it deals. Oh, another undead colossus. Please don't get another absorption. Oh. It does each enemy in its play area two damage. Oh, actually, she does not take six damage. Sorry. They actually hit the tattoo. Oh, got it. For six. Wait, I forgot what do about you mean? that. They hit the they hit the one with the lowest health. Oh, okay. And has lower health than she does. Sure. And I thought about this because this comes in, it does her two damage. Mm -hmm. So. Why are you giving her two? Because this undead colossus is hitting her. <laughs> Tom's smearing around the health token. Yeah, no I kidding. Have I, have no, I have no faith. It deals that each <laughs> enemy in play two damage. So it also hits a tiger. Okay. Yes, I understand you have no faith in me, and I'm in agreement. <laughs> 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 All right, that was that. Now it's coming after me. I'm glad the undead classes aren't hitting me. Yeah, no kidding. Dance macabre. At the start of your turn, draw one random undead from the battlefield discard pile. Oof. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, no. You don't want to draw that Colossus. <laughs> How do I get rid of this? I don't think there is a way to get rid of this. No, you're done. I, I, I mean, I have some cards that can get rid of cards. All right. Thank you. It's a duration. But game. it's yeah. a waste, so wow. I'm not going to do it. I don't care if you die. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, it's the beginning of your turn now, right? It is the beginning oh. of my turn. Oh, I can't get rid of it yet. You're going to make me? Fine. Let Roy draw the Colossus. They're all dead? Colossus. <laughs> I knew it! I was joking when I said Colossus at first, but it actually was the yeah. Colossus. Yay! That's um, fantastic. Roy is my favorite. You're the one that shuffled. I didn't draw, though. <laughs> That's why I wasn't going to do it. Listen, mm -hmm. listen, you got to have some Monday Colossus in your life sometimes. Right. I'm going to need some Monday Colossus. How much does he hit you for? He hits each enemy in my area two damage. Fortunately, I don't have any minions and yeah. stuff, so that's not too terrible. Yeah, cause that, would, that would be bad for uh, me. Two damage, that's not, that's not worth the uh, dealing with the massive amount of hit points that it has. Okay, yeah, I agree. Uh... I'm just going to die from that. But, I mean, I'm going to have more drawn every turn. Yeah, that's true. All right. For my side action, I'm going to take an energy. And then I'm going to play for four energy. Everyone draw the top card, and you can play it or take two energy. <gasps> Cost four energy. Oh, man, this is I'm taking great. Two energy. Oh, my gosh, this is great. Look at this card. Increase damage dealt by the demigod and allies by one and rally twice. So now each of these are going to hit for two and they're going to do it twice. So that only stays in the play at the start of your next play phase. So this all, it goes off right now, though. Who cares? Do it! No, that's great. So it goes right now? It says rally twice. Oh, but I so I play so it actually triggers right now. Well, it has to because other here's the thing. It, so it says increase the damage. Uh, at the start of your next play phase. So I don't know, since you're playing this off kilter, yeah. does that go off on your next thing? It doesn't really matter. You're still going to rally right. everything right now. Right, right, right. So, all right. So, if, let's say I'm playing this. So, does that rally twice? It rallies twice. And then also, I've got all kinds of rally effects here. So, because it says I can increase the next damage dealt by one unit by one. Um, Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is, yeah, give me, uh, I have to kind of go through this. Okay, so this is going to basically increase the damage she does by one and th what they do by one. All right. Um, but it's rally twice, and I've got 
different. I've got rally effects that are going to happen twice. So this says deals one enemy one damage. But you're going to. Oh, gosh, this is a lot to kind of keep track of here. No, 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 no. Everyone is plus one. You don't need to keep track of that. Okay, everyone is plus one. So you're rallying twice. But this is all okay. But this is also just go through all your cards. Just go okay. through them in order. All right, but they, they can go in different orders. What I'm saying is, this also increases the next damage by one unit by one. Okay, so the next one's three. Okay. All right. And then next one. All right. So and then this one is demigod deals one enemy and one enemy one damage. Focus. Right. So that's, Focus that's on her. three damage. So that's three so far. I'm just going to add it all together. Okay, but that's all. What I'm saying is this is all one rally action. I know. Okay, all right. Let me right, kill so the tiger. Right, three, two, two, two. Okay. Right? Don't right. kill the tiger. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need to kill. I'm going all for her. Let's three, two, two, two. So that's six plus three is nine. Okay. And then you do it again for another nine. Okay. So 18. All right. 18 damage. Okay, sounds good. Mike I'll take your word for it. Mike is the champion. My I'll take friend. you for it. I just want to make sure I wasn't missing um, um, something. I wasn't alpha gaming there at all. No, no. I, I mean, swear. I knew that's what I was. You just mean. took a five away and put a five and two one. I took back. a twenty-five away. Roy. Okay, 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 okay. This time I did it right. It's at fifteen six. It's at twenty. It's at twenty. He keeps adding hit points every right. single time, people. It's got like three million hit points already. It's over nine thousand. Twenty-six. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, my card, I took two energy. I was not as cool. What did All you right. do with yours? I put this in play. Um, it is no remorse. Each time I destroy a unit, I can draw a card, gain an energy, or heal one. Mm. So now I have a whole bunch of things that trigger off of destroying, destroying. things. Yeah, that's good. All right, I like it. I like so. it. I like it. Um, oh, I'm still my turn. That was my first thing. I spent yep. the energy. I took some energy back. Uh, I'll play this one here. Cost one energy, so that cost me one. I draw three cards, draw mm -hmm. one, discard one, put one at the bottom of your deck. Oh. I will take this one. I want to put any, this any, one. Anything in the chat we need to be aware of? We're doing good. Outstanding. Outstanding. I'll discard this one and put one on the bottom of my deck. Okay, so now I'm going to spend my last. I'm going to spend two energy here because this card costs one less energy for each card in my bag of tricks. So oh. it only costs two. Damage dealt for me now is piercing, which means I ignore armor. Oh, Which would have been great. useful earlier. But that's good if it comes back I can out. now play cards from my bag of tricks. And when I play a card, she also deals an enemy one damage. At the end of my turn, shuffle this card and my discard pile into my deck. Oh, uh, oh never mind. I didn't read that part. I have an additional um, draw, draw. Man. But I can play cards from my bag of tricks. And energy cost from here is Minus reduced one. by one, so I'm just going to play everything. Everything only costs one. Yeah, they all cost one. And when I and when I play a card, she does one enemy, one damage. Okay. So she can do three enemies, one damage each. So I'm just going to just start. Mm -hmm. You know, so so she's going to do that three times, one damage each, and she does an extra whenever she plays a card. So that's going to be six to her. Nice. The other, the other. There is no other enemies out except for my undead colossus, right? So I'm gonna do so three. Make to her him. at six, mm -hmm. or make her at twenty, even. Right. So she's down to twenty, and then I also did three damage to my colossi. Colossi. Nope. Who is now down to? Is there more than one there somehow? Nine. Wow, with twenty. Colossus, Focus. you're right. I don't Focus. know why <laughs> I spent fire. so much time saying the plural version, uh -huh. and it didn't matter. Um, there's no other enemies I could hit. Oh, I can hit that. I don't know. I might as well do. Yeah, I might. I might as well hit him for Roy, three. Roy wants to kill the tiger, though. Oh, you did want to kill the tiger? It's fine. If you put it down to one, I can kill it easy. <laughs> fine. I just want to be able to trigger all the things that happen I when I kill them. I just cleared something. everything out. Mm -hmm. This is gone, but I get to shuffle everything back into my discard oh, deck. All so. right, there we go. I'm Woo. trying to do the math. Now we're getting hit points she has right left. Here. Okay. My turn. She's out of 20. Yeah. Now, the thing is, that so absorption card's going to I know. <laughs> I'm going to deal two damage to this guy with my crewmate for gaining a treasure with this. Um, that Are you sure we don't want to leave that tattoo out? I, it triggers all of this stuff that lets me draw a card, get another treasure, and uh, right. and uh, gain an energy. Um, I'm right. gaining an energy. Tiger is dead. Get another treasure. Did you put it in the right? I did not. I don't not. think you did. And Shut up, Mike. Uh, draw a card. <laughs> 
Um, I'm the banker, and Mike is the the what do you call the guy who like watches the monitor? The, the, yeah, right. I'm the, uh, the auditor. The auditor. That's right. I'm the auditor. <laughs> okay. Uh, sir. <laughs> Pardon me. You said three, but you actually gave two. I said some it irregularities. It was an honest mistake. <laughs> I don't even know what that's Some doing. Some irregularities in the numbers currently. here. Did I just shuffle the one card I had back in my deck? I don't know what you're doing. Uh, it's I a did. complete catastrophe. I did. Hang you on. You are the trickster over there. What was the card all? in my hand? It was the sleight of oh. hand. No, this was the card I had in my hand. Okay. Did you play the give the enemy 15 extra hit points card, Tom? I did not. <laughs> We're going to play down the quartermaster, which costs three treasure. Um. Whenever I gain treasure, it deals uh, three damage, and then I can pay treasure to uh, deal one damage for each crewmate I have. I can basically oh, I can basically just do side actions for that. We're supposed to get one free side action, aren't we? Yeah, at the beginning of your turn, you you do before you play cards. I don't know if it has to be before you play cards, but you do yeah, get it. It does. Side action phase, play phase. Yeah, okay, true. Oh, well, then I should have uh, energized before then, I think. Yes. Energize is my first side action. Then do that to do the treasures. You did 18 damage. You I, do. You can, you I feel pretty good. Tonight. I feel pretty good. I'm going to be doing some more damage here in a minute. I'm going to. Uh, I shouldn't do that first. How much hit points does she have left? 20. Okay, we're going to do this. It costs two energy, and we're going to pay a treasure that does four damage to her. Okay. Is you doing any more damage before I start making change? <laughs> the less change we have to make, the better. I don't like change! <laughs> I'm going to have spent these as energize, um, to, or, yeah, as energize actions for side actions to put that over there. And that goes away. Um, we're going to pay... I like the, your shots. You just like... Yeah, just, boom! You're right. Although I think I like this really This really is cool. awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm, th I'm pretty happy with this. We're going to do this. No this mercy! This deals three damage to a unit, so just deal three more damage to her. That's right. I'm tr really trying to get this as close. It's going to be your turn 13. next, Mike. Yeah. yeah, it's my turn next. Oh, you have to go before, yeah. but you lose that call, that cool card. You already got rid of it. I already got rid of it. Yeah, it's in my discard. Oh, so, but, you, but there's no tiger. There's nothing. No, I'm going to be able to do some damage to her. The, I don't think the door I can do 13, is open. but we'll see. I don't know. We're just going to do this for two. Um, I gain a treasure, which will trigger her ability. She takes three more damage. Oof. Man, she's so close. To. If she was within four, this would just kill her. But she only has ten left. Um, I can kill something that has ten life or left, or I can just get rid of Wait, any non-unit. No, no, four life or left, sorry. Uh -huh. um, or I could like, get rid of your Dance Macabre. So I guess I'll get rid of your uh, Dance Macabre. Sure, okay. So you don't get any more stuff. It might, I mean, hopefully Mike can do the 10 damage to finish uh, it we'll off. We'll find out. I don't know if I can, but we'll see. You can do a lot. How can I you can not do, do 10 damage? You're going to ruin twice. everything. Well, we'll see. We'll see if I can pull it off. Okay. First thing is I have, have your whole turn planned out. I have a, I, I, well, I don't. <laughs> I have a free draw and a free attack action, so I might as well just go ahead like and take those. Each time a captain or a crew card destroys a card. So the free attack is just one damage. So I also yes. get a treasure for getting rid of that card. Okay. All right, so. Um, He's down to nine. I'm gonna oh, wait. Do I could spin this treasure to do um, two more damage. Right, so I'm just going to do that just to help you out. By the time it's Mike's, Mike's like, and, 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 and I actually and killed, I killed it, it on right. my turn. Listen, <laughs> I was, I was. Uh, it's what, it's down to three health? Oh, yeah. It's down to seven. Oh, we'll do, we should be able to do it. Okay. I was down. If I would have done three more damage, then I would have killed her. Okay, so I'm going to do. But I did not. The side action here, which is the demigod deals one enemy, one damage, and then rally. Um, so we do one damage. Okay. And, and then, then we rally. We rally for. This has a rally effect of increase the damage dealt by one. So two, three, four. Right? Is that correct? Yes. Doesn't that also rally? Or no? Uh, oh, yes. Five. If you what say you, you for, can't do what did you one do more damage. Your, what did you do for your free side action? My, my side action was this. Oh. Then we got to deal with one <laughs> that, that's Are exactly. you leaving it with one hit point, <laughs> no, Mike? No, I haven't even taken a play phase yet. <laughs> you leave it all on the court. I'm going to do this just because it's more fun. I'm going to play the Fury <laughs> of War card. Two energy. Demigod deals two, am two damage, rally, so I'm going to do another three damage, and okay. then I'm bringing it back into my hand. You would have done the same thing, don't even lie. I yes. would have done the same thing. <laughs> She's wrecked. <laughs> All right. We will turn her over. All right, can I see those other hero cards? Let's, Please? Yeah, let's talk a little bit yeah. about the other hero cards. So 
The hedge witch here, her signature thing is she draws a card and someone else gets an energy. Okay. And then the, the Kelpie, he can switch back and forth between forms. Mm -hmm. uh, twice per turn, he draws a card and he can pay an energy to switch forms. And when he's in the Kelpie form, he can, up to twice per turn, when you play an action card, he does one en enemy two damage. Okay. So the one, the, the human draws cards, the he Kelpie does damage. Does damage. Mm -hmm. The nice. Beastmaster plays a companion card from your deck or discard pile with its cost reduced by one. So he's I'm got assuming... his own deck of companions. Yeah. So it seems like these characters all kind of have a little. Mine is the rally. Yours is the treasure. Yours yeah, yeah, yeah. is the bag of tricks. You know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but there. It, and then it's mixed with something else. With something else, right? Mm -hmm. This is the Beastmaster, I think. Gotcha. Is he the beast man? No, that's no, not the beast master. It wouldn't be one of those cards. It would be the the ones with the art on them. There's some over here too, Tom. I'm not sure. If these are. Oh yeah, here they are. I think. So many cards. Oh yeah, there's the beast master. Axe throw. So axe throw. You can do one enemy three damage. If it's destroyed, it comes back in your hand. Oh, so that's nice. Has so a that lot was of like those. one of my cutthroat cards. Did mm -hmm. that? A tamed yeah. wolf. Ooh, that that's just, a companion. Whenever he hits someone, they deal one damage. He has a hawk. He has hawks, a stag, a raging boar. Wow, it costs seven energy? Ooh. Other companions do plus one damage. Oh, so if you put a bunch of companions out and then play your boar, it just wrecks. Okay. All righty. All right, folks. Well, that is that. The Don't forget, if you're just coming on now, we have a contest that we announced at the beginning of this video, so slide back and watch that. You can see more about this Kickstarter if you click the link in the description. This is the last live thing we're doing this week, but it's not the last live thing we're doing in the next seven Ooh, days. You're not kidding. The Spring and Spectacular starts at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on oh. Monday. Mm -hmm. We'll see you there. We'll be back. Look for our schedule. We'll be going. It's already on Facebook, but it'll be going up in other places over the weekend. I'm about to finalize it after I eat lunch. <laughs> um, thank you for everyone for watching this. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delicio. And I'm Roy Kennedy. Have fun killing monsters and stuff. Uh, yeah. <sighs>